Welcome back to Pro Gun. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate that. I've been asked, how do you conceal carry on a motorcycle? Well, that's a great question because it's a lot different concealed carrying on a motorcycle than it is in your car or walking around. What I typically do when it's a little warmer out, I wear the Venado concealed carry vest. It's cut a little bit longer than a normal vest so that the muzzle doesn't protrude from the bottom of the vest. And it's got a holster pocket on the inside on each side. When it's colder out, I wear the Venado concealed carry jacket. And just like the vest, it's cut much longer so that the firearm doesn't stick out. And this also has a holster on each side. These are great options for riding a motorcycle. I've been wearing the Venado concealed carry uh, jacket and vest for years and it just works perfectly when I ride a motorcycle. And there's a lot of other things you need to keep in mind because riding on a motorcycle is just totally different than walking around or driving in a car. So I'm going to give you some of my tips that I think may help when you're riding your motorcycle and you're carrying a firearm. Let's get to it. When it's cold out, I wear the Venado Concealed Carry Jacket. It's very warm to wear while I ride my motorcycle, but more importantly, it's cut longer than a traditional jacket so that the muzzle of your firearm doesn't stick out underneath the jacket. It also doesn't ride up on you like some of the motorcycle jackets do that are cut shorter. I have a full size 1911 and inside the pocket holster I have another firearm. In the spring or the fall I wear the Venado concealed carry vest just like the jacket it's cut longer so that your muzzle doesn't stick out underneath the vest. And again I have a full size 1911 and another pistol on the holster inside the vest. Another great option to keep your firearm concealed when you're riding your motorcycle is the Vanish Belly Band Holster. And I position it with my firearm in the front because the front of my jacket or shirt isn't going to get blown up from the wind. It's usually the back or the side. And I live in Tennessee. Sometimes it's just hot as hell here in the summer and it's too hot to wear a jacket or a vest. So I keep an extra t-shirt in my tour pack, and if I have to take off my vest, I throw this on, I throw my other t-shirt over it, and I'm good to go. So, in my opinion, these are the best ways of concealed carrying while you're riding your motorcycle. Now let's cover some other topics. Now let's talk about transporting. One thing you never want to do while you're riding on a motorcycle is take a firearm and throw it in your tour pack or your saddlebag. The contents shift around a lot, I have a lot of shit in my tour pack that can get caught in the trigger guard. Um, even if it's in a holster, I'm not a fan of keeping the firearm in the tour pack or saddlebag. Also, for security purposes, when you get off your bike and you throw your firearm in the tour pack or saddlebag, everybody watching you knows you have a firearm in there. This isn't like throwing your firearm in the trunk of a car. Any heavy-duty screwdriver will pop these things open. They're only made out of plastic or fiberglass, so this is not a way to secure your firearm. Another thing you're going to want to take into consideration are gloves. In the summertime, I wear fingerless gloves. I have plenty of room to get my finger in the trigger guard, but if you're wearing heavy-duty winter gloves on your bike, they may not fit through the trigger guard, so you're going to have to rethink the gloves. They have shooting gloves that fit tighter, almost, uh, you know, very tight on the skin that'll fit through the trigger guard. But like the Harley Davidson gauntlet gloves are definitely not going to work. So you need to check that out as well. All right, let's talk about holsters. Now, if you think it's uncomfortable driving a car wearing an inside the waistband holster, it's even more uncomfortable on a motorcycle. I would highly recommend an outside the waistband holster and a good holster. This is the holster I normally use. This is from 
upper hand holsters and it is an outside the waistband holster and you want to make sure you have good retention because the last thing you need is hitting a bump at 70 miles an hour and having your firearm pop off and believe me I've seen people do a lot of stupid shit and use magnetic holsters and stick them on the gas tank when you're riding a motorcycle you should be carrying your firearm on body another thing to keep in mind is that in the event of an accident you should notify someone you're riding with that you're carrying a firearm and if you're not conscious and the EMT comes to help you the people you're riding with should notify the EMTs that you're carrying a firearm and they should remove the firearm inside the holster not the firearm the firearm inside the holster and they should remove it and you should also know what jurisdiction you're in so that when you get out of the hospital you can claim your firearm these are just some of the things that I find important I hope they help you thanks for watching